What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode with Broke Girls Art School. In today's episode, I will be showing you guys how I used my Dremel tool to put this design on this mirror. I found this mirror at Goodwill for like eight bucks. I loved the filigree around the edges. I thought it had a really cool feel to it. So yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, don't forget to drop a comment. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe if you wanna see my future content. And that does help out my channel a lot, so I really appreciate it. Um, I will be tagging the links in the description box below for the supplies that I'm using. So if you wanna grab some of those, make sure to hit those links. And yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, so for the first step, I was going around and doing the bolder outlines on some of my leaves. Um, I do recommend wearing a mask while you're doing this because there will be little microscopic shards of glass flying around, and I don't think that's necessarily the best thing to be breathing into your lungs. <laughs> so, yes, definitely recommend wearing a mask. Um, I also have a bunch of different tips that I use for my Dremel tool, so I will tag both the Dremel tool that I use and the tips in the description box below. Um, I try to incorporate different line weights with every medium of art that I do. Um, so here, I just wanted to show you guys like real time what it looks like. You wanna go slow and consistent with the Dremel tool. And it's not gonna look perfect the first time that you go over something. So I would usually like pull a line and then go in and kind of smooth it out in the rougher areas. Um, I definitely think that this technique is a great practice for tattooing if you're like a tattoo apprentice or just trying to build strength in your hand because um, a Dremel tool is kind of hard to control sometimes, but you have to be very steady with like the pressure that you're using and your speed. And you should be able to get some pretty clean lines with this, with this technique though. And I didn't use like a sharper sharpie or anything on the mirror. Um, honestly, you could probably just get away with like a dry erase marker. That's pretty much what I had. Um, just be mindful; it's very easy to wipe off. So here on those like inner lines on the leaves for like the veins, I was using a smaller tip for my Dremel. Again, I like to switch up the line weights a bit. But I did want to keep this design really simple because it's, you know, it is on a mirror. So I wanted it to just be nice and readable from across the room and not be too busy. So like I said, guys, steady hand is very important. Take your time. And sometimes the Dremel tool can be a little bit uh, jumpy. It'll like catch whatever surface you're working on and kind of like, you know, make you do a little scribble motion, um, which isn't the worst thing. Just make sure that you go back in and smooth those out because clean lines are everything. Especially in a piece like this where you're only doing lines. <laughs> So I like to use the same technique for all my leaves as well. Um, as always, consistency is key. And I wanted the lines to be like similar spaces apart and all kind of like flowing in the same direction. And then for the roses, I also use the thinner lines on the inner petals, and then on the very outer edge, um, I do a pretty thick line. And honestly, this is pretty similar to how I would like design a tattoo. Um, I like to, you know, incorporate the stuff that I learned from one medium and kind of use it in all of my mediums. And I'm usually more of a neo-traditional tattooer. So, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of bold outlines and that kind of thing. Yeah, guys, and sometimes simpler is just better. Like, it makes things more readable. You don't want to try to overcomplicate stuff when you're working on it. 
So here um, I have all the outlines laid out and now I'm just going around the edges of the leaves and the flowers to make that outer line a bit more bold. And when I was just thinking, thickening up those outer lines, I wasn't like pulling like one long line like I was before. I'm just kind of doing these short little back and forth motions to get those thicker lines around the edges. More kind of like etching into the glass than anything. And I would recommend wearing a glove with this as well because it's nice not to be smudging your hand grease all over the mirror. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm dripping onto anything for too long, whether it be my pencil or paintbrush or whatever, my hand gets sweaty. So I like having that nice glove barrier. doing something like this is you could, you know, it's pretty exponential what you could do with it. Um, a Dremel tool is almost as versatile as like, you know, a pen or a marker because you have those different size tips and you could really make it whatever you want. You know, I probably could have spent 10 hours doing some crazy design, which I probably will in the future, but this is my first time Dremeling a mirror, so I wanted to keep it nice and simple and readable. This will probably be a cool thing for me to hang up in my station. If I don't sell it, we'll see. <laughs> so here's the finished product, you guys. Please don't forget to like and so subscribe. So here, just going around, picking things out a little bit more. Out my channel. And don't and forget to it. drop a comment. Let me know what you thought.